I'm uncertain if this qualifies as a leaked tower, but judging from the provided text, it appears that if you're grappling with zombie issues, the mercenary stands prepared to assist you. They specialise in eliminating undead creatures with expertise. If you scrutinise closely, you'll notice that the mercenary's contact number contains Lord Exo within it. Could this imply that the tower might become a potential reward upon Lord Exo's release? Remember, in the Violent Night trailer, Lord Exo makes a cameo appearance at the conclusion, hinting at a potential sequel where Lord Exo seeks revenge. It's also plausible that we could witness Lord Exo during the upcoming winter event. While I'm not asserting it as a certainty, the odds are considerably high. Curiously, the reason behind incorporating Lord Exo's phone number alongside the mercenary puzzles me. This leads me to believe that if this tower is indeed authentic, it could potentially become a reward during the winter event, or even in any event that features Lord Exo. Furthermore, contrasting this mercenary with those from Tower Battles, it's evident that this one differs significantly. Tower Battles mercenaries resemble militants or soldiers, whereas this one appears to be equipped with a crossbow, a knife in one hand, and a pistol holstered on their leg. It's worth noting that creating such a complex model for Tower Defence Simulator seems unlikely unless the developers have ample time on their hands. While I can't be certain, I have a sense that this tower might soon be unveiled, possibly by Below Natural themselves. You can also spot this billboard at the new lay-by. What are your thoughts on this matter?